Let's find out how pasta and alfredo affects my blood sugar using my glucose monitor. This plate has 56 grams of pasta mixed with quarter cup alfredo sauce and this dish has 45 grams of carbs, 8 grams of protein and 7 grams of fat. The protein and fat comes from the alfredo sauce that I used with this dish. This dish is high in carbs but low in protein and fat so I'm expecting a blood sugar spike with this dish. Let's find out. Alright, a few hours have passed. Now let's take a look at my blood sugar readings. Wow, yeah, that's a pretty big spike of approximately 78 milligrams per deciliter and it happened within the first hour of eating. As a guideline, I try to avoid sugar spikes over 35 milligrams, so this one definitely crossed the line. Well, the meal didn't have enough protein, fiber or fat to slow down the digestion and so the carbs raised my blood sugar really fast. You can attempt to reduce the spike by adding in some veggies for extra fiber and some chicken or tofu for some added protein. Or you could just try some lower GI pasta like chickpea or lentil pasta. Keep in mind everybody's body reacts differently and so your blood sugar might respond differently to this dish. What dish should I try next? Let me know in the comments.